six months in to the dividend investing challenge. We started this in January and we started making 68 cents that first month because we only bought one stock that was a monthly dividend. And now, finally, we broke $100 per month in dividend income. So on the day, this was on Friday, we made $1,200 in one day. On the week, we made 2300 almost 2400 On the month, we made $5,324. Again, this portfolio on Robinhood is focused on growth. I'm not looking for dividends. I'm looking to grow this portfolio as fast as possible and as safely as possible, if that makes sense. And for the past three months, we are up $7,268. The past year we're up 7,500. You can see it's kind of flat because I didn't really invest much. I really started back in March, right when everything started going down. If we look at the all time, I am up 169%, $11,835. All right, cool. And I only own three stocks here. Facebook, I love Facebook. I need more Facebook in the Robinhood portfolio. 20 shares at 184, we're up $1,200. Next is Tesla. Don't have enough Tesla shares. Should have bought more, whatever. Eight shares at 755. That's the average cost. We are up $6,292 on Tesla. And last, we have Carnival Cruise Lines. 34 shares at a $27 average cost. I bought this before the whole dip, before everything that happened, down 395. This is one of the worst positions in my entire portfolio, but you know, it is what it is. I'm just gonna hold strong. Let's see what happens in the future. All right, we are in the M1 Finance Freedom Portfolio. I named it Freedom because that's what dividends are to me. Freedom, passive income, money I make, whether I go to work, whether I sleep all day, no matter what, this is income that's coming in. And for June, this is our record month. Despite what's been going on in the world, these companies have still been paying their dividends, still going strong. Okay, starting from June 1st, we can see our first dividend was 69 cents from Walmart. Thank you, Walmart. Our second dividend was $17.47 from Wells Fargo. Now, Wells Fargo is the only stock on my portfolio that is now cutting its dividend due to the Fed making regulations on banks. However, I still think Wells Fargo is a deep value discount right now, especially at these prices. In the next five years, I see Wells Fargo doing well in 2025. I don't know how it's going to do in 2021, 2022, but long term, I expect a high dividend from them back to the 8% that it's at now before they cut it if they have not already cut it. Next stock, Parker Hannafin, the one I told you all not to sleep on, the industrial company that has more than doubled for me on this portfolio. I'll go to the holdings later. This is one of my favorite core stocks, Parker Hannafin. Nice $7 dividend. I can go buy a bowl of Chipotle with that. You know what I'm saying? Next is Pfizer, $4.43. You know, you get half a burrito with that. You know, $4, that's a good amount of money. Now let's look at my morning trading. Ooh, I sold something. What did I sell? So I sold Clorox at 206. I didn't have much in the portfolio and I realized I no longer want to hold this company. It's still a great company, still a great dividend stock, but it's just been going straight up ever since this entire situation. It never crashed and I assume everybody wants to be clean, so it's good. And I know the stock's like at 220 right now. I should have held, whatever, but I just don't want to hold it for the long term right now. I just am not that comfortable with Clorox yet. So I sold out of that position. I rarely sell, but that's one of them. The next thing that happened was June 8th, we got $1.93 from Southern. That's like a Snickers bar. So thank you, Southern. It's a utility company for those who don't know. It's also been dropping in price, so I may be adding more because that dividend is not too big. Next, June 8th, we bought two stocks. We bought Dominion Energy and Southern. So more of that utilities, uh, both Southern and Dominion. If you look at my pie on the portfolio, let's see if we can go here. I am underweight in the utility sector. I'm only 3% of my portfolio in there when it should be six. So the M1 Finance, the beauty of this app is that it goes and whenever you add money in or you get paid dividends, it delegates it, delegates it, is that delicate? No, that's delicate. Delegates it to the stocks that are underweight. So you're more balanced and you don't have to hit rebalance where you sell and trigger tax. 
you still hold the same stocks you have, but new money will be going to those that are underweight. Unless, of course, you selectively pick stocks, which I tend to do a lot of. I just let my dividends go to the underweight ones. I like to, when I add big chunks of money, like two, $3,000, I like to pick the specific stock. June 9th, we made $3.64 from Johnson & Johnson, another juicy paycheck, the number one healthcare company. This is a staple for almost all dividend investors, one of the best dividend stocks out there. It is a king, which means it's been paying a dividend consecutively and increasing it for over 50 years. 50 years. So that's awesome. Chevron, $1.42. That's about half a gallon of gas around here, all right? Yeah, it's pretty good. Thank you, Chevron. IBM, International Ballistic Missile. That's what I always thought it was, but it's International Business Machine, $7. I sold this company off, actually, because Long term in the tech sector, I wanna focus more on Microsoft and Apple. I have much more conviction in those companies. I believe in them more than IBM, but IBM is still a great company, a great dividend company. So what did I buy on June 10th? BP, British Petroleum. So this is a natural gas oil company in the UK. I bought $205 worth. I love British Petroleum, great company. Microsoft, June 11th, $1.21, awesome. I deposited $500 on June 11th because I wanted to buy, let's see, Starbucks. Mm, I love Starbucks. That's one of my top stocks. I think it's like 7% of my allocation target, which is really high for my portfolio. I see Starbucks growing massively in the future. Their technology, even in the situation we're in now, they are still making sales. Next, 3M, a hefty $26 dividend. That's a lot of burrito. That's like three Chipotle burritos right there and extra meat with some guac. Thank you, 3M. For those that don't know, 3M is an industrial company. They make the masks a lot of people are wearing. They make a whole variety of products. Check out their website. One of my favorites as well. McDonald's, of course, a staple in my portfolio, $16. That's a lot of Happy Meals. O Realty Income, this is my real estate investment trust. This, invers this invests into commercial real estate properties, not residential. So we're talking uh, shopping, not shopping malls. Uh, we're talking like gyms and Walgreens and Walmarts. So it's kind of scary to own that right now with what's going on, but I believe in them in the long term as well. They pay out a monthly dividend. They're known for that. Great company. June 15th, what did I buy? More of Southern more of those utilities that i'm underweight in next i got 299 from duke another utility company energy company home depot gave me 492 i could buy some uh tape with that or something that's nice british petroleum four dollars and 14 cents thank you to all the hard workers out in london in the uk waste management a dollar 44 waste management this is an industrials company they take out the trash i'm pretty sure they do that in your area too Next, we bought Dominion Energy again, $29. And I'm gonna talk about this in, later in the video. I'm gonna to touch on this just really quick, Dominion Energy. Um, deposited another 500 and bought Wells Fargo. Yep, bought $506 of Wells Fargo. Let's see what price I bought it at. $26.42 per share. I bought 19 shares. Again, I don't wanna to be too heavy in the financial sector, but I just can't ignore the price Wells Fargo is at. I just want to average in at this lower price because in five years from now, if everything gets back to normal, I see Wells Fargo doing very well. Next is Bank of America, 58 cent dividend. I don't own that much of it. Again, I deposited $300. I always deposit money randomly. What did I buy with this 300? So I bought two things. I bought $120 worth of Disney and another $180 worth of Starbucks. I'm really trying to build that Starbucks position. Next dividend, the final one for the month, $4.94 from Pepsi. Thank you to everyone who bought Pepsi bottles, Doritos, while you watched your movies and chilled. Thank you. And we have July, but we'll we'll look at that at you know later because right now we're still in the middle of July. That's the dividend update from M1 Finance. So that's a quick update for y'all. Drop a like if you enjoyed this update. Subscribe if you haven't already with the notification bell and share this video with a friend. We need to spread these videos out. We need to share this with people who are interested in dividend investing. Build this community. Comment down below what dividend stocks you're looking at, what you're buying, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.